All right, we're now in uh, trial mode, and I'm about to show you how it all works. We've got three servos which are going to be the traverse servos for the gun. We've got three servos which are the elevation servos for the gun. We've got the receiver, the Arduino on a funny angle because I've been doing some wiring around it. And we've got this Adafruit um, servo controller. <clears throat> and this all works now very nicely. So what I'm going to do, I'm not ready yet to put it in the boat because I need to replace these with some 180 degree servos. I'd started with that, but I found that I had stupidly purchased digital servos and they go nuts here and they would have, they would have done damage. Um, but analog servos are completely fine and completely safe. What I've wanted to do is to get these all controlled separately and controlled um, and to move really slowly and beautifully, which I think we've achieved. So the way that this works, I've got it turned off at the moment, but it gives you the picture is that I'm using four channels from the radio. Um, and I'm the control that I'm using are the two knobs at the top here. This one controls the elevation of the guns. This one controls the traverse of the guns. This one here make enables me to select. I can either select gun A, gun B, gun C or all the guns at once and this knob here turns the power on or off to the Adafruit uh, unit so that when it's off nothing works I can select where I want the guns to be I can choose the gun turn it on and they will move to the spot so right now it's switched off um, and I'll put this on to the A turret and I'll turn it on. Everything's quiet. I'm going to, uh, you can see the servo over there. That's the elevation and the servo down there. That is the traverse movement. Now if I put this little knob here on all of the servos, they're all starting to work. I turn them on to a particular direction and they're all seeking it out. You can see that it's quite small. It's not moving very fast at all when they're all running. But the point is, it looks spectacular when you've got the actual gun swinging and turning. It's very stable. It's very nice. Um, I'll just change this now to one of the... It's this one down here. So I can move it either between just an A turret, a B turret, a C turret, or all the turrets at once. So I can do all of that. I'm able to move the... Um, when I move the knob, it changes the direction of the um, gun, but it takes the servo a while to catch because it's moving slowly and majestically. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is the wiring plan. Now the circuit diagram shows that um, I'm using uh, a channel from the receiver called, I'm calling it elevation, it's number five. Uh, I've got traverse which is number six. This one called the gun controller is number seven. And the Adafruit switch which you just saw is number eight. So the elevation goes through to A1 and A... The, the, the elevation and traverse go through to A1 and A2. Gun controller, um, that goes through to D6 and D7. Now, what we have here is the... Um, is that the material, that, that the information that's coming out of the Arduino uh, goes through ITC? Is that what it is? I can't remember. ICT, anyway, all of that goes into the input 
um, SCL SDA up here at the top of the Adafruit server driver module. Um, and out of that, I run all of the seven servos from these nice little ports here, which I can plug straight into. Um, I've got here also the, uh, I'm running it on 11.4 volts from a LiPo, and that's putting power into the um, Nano. I'm also reducing the power down to 4.8 volts and that powers everything completely through. And it's an external power process um, because you simply don't drive all of this from, um, from the Arduino. Um, anything else to show here? Oh yes, this is the on-off switch. When this is powered up, the whole thing actually powers down. And that comes out of A3 um, and so on. So it's all fairly straightforward. So now we're going to dive in and have a look at the code. So just uh, quickly, I'm not going to go into too much depth with this. Um, we have here the um, library for the Adafruit unit. Um, we need libraries for wire and for the interrupt. This is a different system that I've used in the past. It's very good. And a friend of mine in America helped me with this. Um, now that I've mastered it, I can make it do things, which is very nice. So this is turning on the Adafruit PWM servo driver just here. This is the frequency that we're transmitting to the uh, turrets at, which is 50, which is pretty much standard. And this is the pulse that's going out to the, tra to the traverse and the elevation um, functions. The number of cells is four. That, that's what's coming from the radio um, unit. And here they are. This is where they go. You've seen them on the circuit diagram. Um, and now we've called some integers just here. Uh, one of them is uh, A gun on, A gun, B gun on, and C gun on. The turn off component plus the um, on pin, which is number eight. You've seen that once again on the circuit diagram. Now here we get into some interesting stuff. This is the I've yet to actually use this. This is how we're going to tune it on the um, on the actual boat. This is the starboard reverse limit. This is the port. Oh, sorry, starboard traverse limit. This is the port traverse limit. This is the position of the traverse uh, function, if you like, um, and. This is the traverse function of the um, B and the C turrets. So they're all separate, can be controlled separately. Um, and this is the same now for elevation. So if we scroll down here, um, there's a smoothing function here to, to enable the um, turrets to be to run very nicely. I've got to say, if you take this out, it, it makes it a bit more coarse. And here is the uh, operating on the off, off those four channels, the gun controller, the Adafruit switch, elevation and traverse. Now if we move into setup. This is uh, all fairly standard setup material down here. Um, and when we get down to um, Here we were, we're focusing on the um, I2C and this is starting that process so that the information just goes out of, cha uh, out of pins A and 4 and A5 straight to the Adafruit unit. So this section here just calms down the jitters in the input. It actually actually does. You, can, you don't need to run this but Interestingly, it does really help. And now we're in the loop. And the interesting stuff here is that <clears throat> it's, 
if the um, Adafruit switch is less than 1300, then we have these effects and it turns things on and off. You've seen that work. And now this is the control pin, uh, the control knob, and it's saying that it's just basically picking out that if the um, gun controller, which is the, the knob, is less than um, 17548, then, and if the gun controller is less than 1140, which actually means that we're looking at the two extreme areas of the of the of the uh, movement of the uh, gun controller and and at one side it's going to just turn on um, one gun but at the other end it's going to join forces and we're going to have all four guns all three guns operating so if if you're on either of those it's a gun on a gun off um, b gun on b gun off on off and now we get down to the business of the whole thing. So one of the first things that we do is add another smoothing um, piece of code here to just gently make this work as nicely as it can do. And then we have, um, this is for traverse, this first section. We map the traverse code from 1000 to 2000, which is what's coming from the um, transmitter, and we're going to bring it right the way down to 250 to 500. Now this will affect um, all of the um, traverse functions, and if I change these numbers, I can change the, uh, the, the angle of the guns, etc. Now with the elevation, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to work with one gun on its own and I'm going to have to change these numbers and it's going to be much less uh, room for space, r room for movement because the, um, the elevation is, is quite subtle. But the traverse is, I'd like it to be 180 degrees. So in this code, this POS A traverse is the actual position of the gun. And if A gun on is on, and if the position of the gun is less than where the knob wants it to be, so in other words, we've got to adjust the position, then this becomes this plus one incrementally and there's a little, little delay of the tiny tiny delay in that process which means that it goes from whatever the position is up by one up by one up by one up by one until that's equal and it stops now that's how the guns all work now this is going one way and this is going the other way now for b gun it's exactly the same if b gun is on and that will happen if the knob is at one extreme or at the other extreme, in which case they're all going to turn on. Um, and you've got plus one, minus one as well. It's a very simple call to the servos to get this really slow response. And then we've got gun A, gun B. Oh, now we've got, and now we've got um, C gun exactly the same thing. So with elevation, I've just copied it, um, but I know I'm going to have to do a fair bit of work looking at those positions, those stops. So I'll probably isolate a gun, isolate it in the code, and very carefully adjust it to get it so that it really works nicely within the elevation uh, parameters. And that's really all there is to it. Um, Going through code like that is, is pretty um, daunting, I guess, and I'm not a very good explainer of it, but um, I think this is, uh, this is good stuff. You can, you can copy this, put it into an Arduino, wire it up, put your um, um, transmitter into the various uh, modes that it needs to be in, and you can do this as well.
See ya.